But that's the human condition. We all got a little crazy in us. From the NFL to Hollywood to fatherhood, join me as I tackle my next journey in life, becoming Hollywood's next action star. Oh my gosh, dude. Look how messy it is in here. It's, uh, I've noticed that whatever my gym looks like is generally how I feel on the insides um, up here, and it's not going well. Uh, it sucks, and uh, it's a, just a tornado of negative emotion, and I really don't like it. I uh, tried to drink my way out of it with 300 milligrams of caffeine with my pre-workout. Didn't really do much. Uh, took a walk that was a chip off the mountain and now I'm just going to get such an amazing arm pump hopefully that it surges all of the blood you know funnels it out of my brain and into my arms and maybe that will shut my brain off because it's got nothing to work with and then I won't have to feel all this um, so it's an, it, uh, we're gonna uh, I'm, arm day just got through the warm-up built up 225 pounds is going to be my first working set on the easy bar curls. Probably my heavier set of the day. Here we go. Yeah, nothing like going heavy and going all out to ignite that panic sweat in your body. It revs up your body and it's like, all right, fight mode, let's do it. Now I'm ready. Things are feeling better. Matter of fact, the sleeves deserve to come off after a set like that. All right. I'm going to take a plate off each side, so it'll be 105 for the first set of Easy Bar Skull Crushers. I think I could work up to this weight. Even though I warmed up at it, it just doesn't feel like it's a one-in-one -one correlation of if I can, you know, my biceps are ready, but my triceps feel like they need to ease in with a little lighter weight and then build up maybe on the second or third set. They'll be there. Won't get into all the details. But some of the blues I'm trying to chase away right now, some of the feels that I'm having are coming from, I think, underneath it all, it's just feeling a little bit out of control in certain areas of my life. And just a lot of things hit at once, kind of the perfect storm. Nothing that's going to keep me from what I need to do and staying consistent in doing that. But just getting in here. That's something I can control. So it's, I'm finding, okay, what can I get my hands on? What is in my control? What can I do? Well, I can get after it. And that's helping kind of alleviate some of the feelings too. Um, you also get a little bit of that endorphin kick. You, know, you break that first initial sweat and your body's just, you're ready, you know? And that helps you to kind of break above the clouds and see clearly and see into the future like, gives you the feeling, okay, maybe this isn't too far to reach. Maybe I can do these things. Maybe uh, you start seeing possibilities for your future. So it's, man, when you're in the dumps, when the clouds are over your head, you gotta find the things that work for you. For me, it, it works by getting my blood flowing, getting a good workout in, really, really stressing my body, listening to um, uplifting uh, books or podcasts, um, Things that help me to believe uh, more for the future, believe that anything is possible. Because in the mode I was in all day, what it feels like is everything is so far out of reach. Like I'm on the ground looking way up in the mountain and I have already nothing to give. And it's like, uh, it's over for me. I think I lost my shot. I think, it's, I think I'm done. I think I should have done X, Y, and Z five years ago. And look at these people. And now I'm, you know, oh, oh man. 
I don't know. I don't know, man. Things are feeling pretty cagey. I don't, I don't know. I, I better just go in the dumps. And those aren't anything. The crazy thing is that those are automatic negative thoughts. They're automatically coming to me. I'm not controlling them. They're just happening. And I know that's not me. That's the crazy thing is I know I am not that guy. I'm not that weakness. And so I'm able to separate and be like, no, nah, I, I know that's not me. I don't know what that is. That may be the devil. But you can't touch this man. I'm filled with something a lot bigger than that. It doesn't mean you don't feel it. But you recognize it. and You say, okay, that's there. That is what it is. All right, I accept it. And it starts losing its power. And then you start bringing in the positive inputs. Take the positive actions. Listen to the positive things. It's crazy how that works, man. Literally, right in front of you right now, is what's, that's what's washing over me. Nah. Woo. Nah. Woo. Yeah. Mm. 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 Ah. Ah. And I don't want to be, uh, I don't want to be preaching at anybody here, by the way. I'm just trying to speak from experience because I know there's going to be people that are similarly wired up the way I am. And when I get all wound up, sometimes even a workout, even a walk, even listening to stuff that's really touched me in the past, uh, books or podcasts or sermons or whatever, they don't do it for me. It's like sometimes you're too far gone for that day, but it's just that day. Sometimes I, I know, okay, I got to just sleep on this. I understand I feel this way, and I'm so messed up. The best thing I can do is just not do. Not make any actions that I'm going to regret. Not say any words that I'm going to regret. Try my best to get out of the fog, but if I can't, just accept it's okay. I'm going to get a good night's sleep tonight. I'm going to wake up feeling better tomorrow. I believe that. And the vast majority of the time I do. And all the times of regret are when I acted in that emotion because I know, okay, I'm not this guy right now. This influx of all this stuff going on, this isn't me. And, and, and I try to separate from it and just understand that it's temporary and it doesn't change anything that you've been going after. Because the feeling for me in this is that it's all over. It's done. Like, you're done, dude. You screwed up. Like, this life that God gave you, now you lost your shot, dude. It's over. You, you had all these opportunities, and you blew it. And sometimes I can't even pull on to a reason why I'm feeling that. I can't grab and latch on to anything that's... I, I can't latch on to anything. I'm so angry that I want to break everything in the room, and I can't remember why I'm angry. I'm depressed, overwhelmed, discouraged, and I can't... I can't even remember where it originated or why I'm feeling any of those things at all. It's that crazy sometimes. But that's the human condition. We all got a little crazy in us, you know? And that's okay. This is part of life. You don't just numb your way through everything. You just got to live it. You got to go through it. You got to learn about how to deal with things when you're flooded. And I'm trying to learn. And I'm a rookie. But there's other rookies out there. I'm hoping, hoping that this can help you in some way. So that, that, first, that first set at 125 on the easy bar curl felt good. I doubt I'll match. I think I got eight on the first one. I doubt I'll match that, but I'm going to shoot for trying to get seven. And then I'm going to stay here at the same weight and do the easy bar skull crushers because that first set felt good, and I remember having the thought of, like, I probably could have handled this weight on this next one, so I'll be extra warm for it. Yep. Yep. Boom. Ah. 
Ah! 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 One more. Yeah. Come on, baby. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Ah. Yeah. Get off me, hat. There we go. Ah. Oh. Ah, here we go. Oh, yeah. Ah. All right. Lowered it twenty pounds. Last set. Ah. Ah. Mm. Ah. 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 All right, I'm going to lower it 40 pounds from the last set because I want to get a lot of reps in on this one, get a good pump out of it. And I think I'm going to do one and a half. So half full, half full. Keep uh, the stress on the tricep longer. Here we go. <clears throat> Ah. Yeah, let's get right there. I like it. All right. Sticking with the easy bar. 85 pounds here on the first set. See how I feel. Actually, I'm going to go a closer grip on the easy bar. See how the wide grip feels too. Had a better contraction on that interior. Good lesson in that. Couldn't remember how I used to do my grip exactly because the easy bar has an outer, a wider grip you can take or a a uh, more narrow grip. And uh, so I started on the narrow and I thought, well, let me try the wide. I can't remember fully. No, definitely the narrow had a be much better contraction for me, but everybody's muscle attachments, everybody's, you know, bone structure is going to be a little bit different and you may fit into the wide grip a little better. You just have to pay attention to your body and how the contraction feels, uh, you know, how, how pumped you're getting, how sore you're getting, um, you know, muscle growth over time, things of that nature, but, you know, don't just do something because someone else is doing it. Do something because it works for you. V-bar press downs. I like the V-bar 
but uh, you may like another one that works better for you. I'm going 80 pounds here on my pulley system. Ah. Nah. Ah. Drop it down a little bit. Right back in. Drop it down again, another 15 pounds. Repeat. Ah. Ah. Oh. Ah. 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 Drop it again. And half from there, 25 pounds are off. Only 25 on. Much lighter. But with my experience with drop sets, the first few feel like you're gonna go forever and then all of a sudden you hit the wall. Out of nowhere. I hit some partials, the burns in there. Oh, yeah. And that's gonna be it for me today. That might sound crazy for a workout. I just did five sets of biceps, five sets of triceps. But basically what my, my routine is, is a push-pull leg split with a bonus arm day or things that I wanna get extra volume on. And today that was just arms. I did a little bit of neck in my warm-up. Skip the calves today, but I'll get back to them tomorrow. And also, even though it was only five sets, my last arm day, so in the same week, my last arm day was six and six, tri biceps, triceps. I got two of, uh, uh, sets of biceps and triceps on my push day, five today. That's 13 total sets. And then before the week's end, I'll hit probably two more on my push or pull day. So that's 15 working sets on the arms in one week. That's pretty high volume for that um, for those muscle groups, and that's what I'm really trying to grow. But it's nice, since I've been working out most every day now, I can come in and bang it out real quick. This is maybe a half hour in here, because I have less overall volume each day to hit. Um, and it feels a lot more sustainable to me when I come in and I'm like, man, I'm only gonna do four different exercises. I'm gonna go balls out on those. I just gotta do a couple, you know, Five total sets. I'm gonna go balls to the wall and get out of here. That's gonna be awesome. And I was, man, I was digging deep. Uh, anyhow, if you're feeling the blues, chase them away with some iron.
or whatever workout you like. Love you all. God bless you.